Yeah, I definitely do, and I've been saying that for a while. But you know, it's it's hard, you know, to believe it when you know you don't have results to prove it. But I really feel I'm playing a lot better, and and sort of things are starting to come back, um, come together out on the court as well. So I'm really thrilled about that. Anna, was there a time when you thought it would not come back? Um, there were doubts in one sort or the other, but um, it definitely it's hard when you do lose a lot of matches and, and it's sort of you work hard but there are no results to sort of to, to back that and, and um, it's been tough moments but I'm really happy, you know, I managed to stay strong in those times and, and just push through it and work hard and actually believe I can do it. You talked about the gusty conditions in Ash in your last match. You, today you played on Armstrong. Explain the differences in the two stadiums. Are they similar, different? It is a little different. Um, it is a little bit more gusty on, on ash, and, and uh, it was a windy as well today. And, and on one side, you could feel a lot of breeze coming, sort of, um, in one direction. So I think we both struggled in the beginning on that side. The balls were coming short and so on. But um, you know, it, at the end of the day, it's the same for both opponents. And you just have to accept that in windy conditions, you're not going to have a perfect match, and you're not going to have, you know, <laughs> many balls. Um, hit perfectly, but you know it's it's the same for both players. And it seems like one of the songs Cincinnati, and then these matches that you really know what you're doing out there, and you're trusting your shots, and you're not panicking anymore. You have a lot more faith in your game. Yeah, I think that exactly was the biggest change. Is that I realized, you know, why am I playing good, and what I have to do in order to play good. And even when the doubt creeps in, I just know I have to stick with my game plan and what I've been working on. And and in important moments, I actually believe that I can do it. And you know, you do it one match, second match, and then it sort of start to become natural instinct as well. And and that's that's what I'm really thrilled to see because, like I was saying, I worked so hard on it, but an important moment sometimes I doubt it. But now it's kind of coming together, the belief in myself again. Is there any, any particular <coughs> advice or something that Heinz has worked on you with that's really helped you? Could you talk about his role in, you know, in your starting to play like yourself again? Yeah, he's like, just keep swinging at that ball. And that's, I mean, it sounds so simple, but it's true because many times when, when it's in a tough match or, you know, you feel pushed from another player, you stop swinging at the ball and you sort of start, you know, pushing and trying to make shots. So he's just like, no, just keep swinging. And, and it is sometimes uncomfortable, but it does help a lot. And it's probably one of the most important things he's told me lately. Uh, what type of match do you expect with him, two former number ones, and how do you have to play that match to be successful? Yeah, it's going to be a tough match, no, no doubt about it, but I'm really looking forward to it because it was I was really disappointed that I had to, to stop in Cincinnati, so it's kind of, you know, <laughs> a new opportunity for me, and, and Kim is a great, great player, and she hasn't lost the match here in a long time, so... I can I can go out there and try to do my best. I've been playing really well, and and it's gonna be exciting no matter what. And I think you know in some ways we have a similar games. So it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a fun match. I think. Kim, Kim said uh, earlier today that she looks she looks forward to rematching. She, she hadn't played yet. You hadn't played yet, but she that she hoped that you win and that you won. And that when when she was off, she followed your career, and she very much likes likes you as a player. And, I mean, you know, what is, how, do, how do you feel in, in, in response to, to those comments that Kim made? Uh, that's really nice to hear because she is such a nice, nice person, and I, I do ever since I started on tour. I, lo I thought highly of her, and I um, really admire her for everything she achieved, and I still do, and I have great respect for her. And, and it's true also when I was struggling, she was messaging me, and she was very supportive, and that's really rare and really nice to see. So in those times, you know, you know who your friends are, and, and she's definitely a, a, a nice, a nice girl, and we always have a, a nice time catching up. So it's gonna. Be be, it's going to be fun. What, 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 what do you think your emotions will be stepping out of Nash Stadium and, and you know, going out to face her? I think it's going to be, uh, I'm going to be thrilled that indefinitely. There will be nerves for sure, but you know, positive ones. And um, I just feel, you know, like I'm going out there and I have nothing to lose and I have that excitement of, you know, competing against such a, such a champion and she's done so great here in the past and, and I have opportunity to, you know, to, to maybe win against, you know, a great champion and, and it's going to be very, very thrilling for sure. Um, what what stands... I know tennis isn't life and you talk about that a lot, but how 
how much happier are your days overall now that all the work is kind of in hand and you're actually uh, It is a lot more happier, definitely. And, you know, we always have, you know, jokes um, in, within a team, and, and it's just a, a lot nicer because you feel like all the hard work is, is paying off and you look more forward to those days and working days as well and you know Heinz was joking today oh you want to practice tomorrow you don't want a day off and I'm like no you know I'm really looking forward to just go on there and spend day you know working out and, and practicing and that's you know the, what you know life is about enjoying what you what you what your job is when you think of Kim, what stands out? What makes her as good as she is? She's a tough competitor, and she she strikes the ball really good, and and um, you know she she doesn't give you much. You know you have to work hard for your points. You well, spoke you spoken in the past about some of the books you've been reading. Uh, what what have you been reading this summer? I've been reading a lot um, um, Stig Larsson's books, The Girl with the <laughs> Dragon Tattoo and The Girl Who Played with Fire. Now I'm on a third book. I actually read about 50 pages in the last three weeks. I've been really not having much time to read and just trying to, you know, take a um, lot of walks and spend time outside and didn't spend too much time in the room. <laughs> I thought you showed a lot of positive emotion early, the double fist pump after that. How, how important is that for you to channel the positive emotion? And, and it seems to really get the crowd by your as well. Uh, it's it's very important, and that's something that I felt change over the last few months. I became a lot more positive on the court, and even if the things were not going my way, I still, you know, had the fist pump. I still, you know, tried to bring a lot of energy on the court, and that um, kind of, you know, helps also, you know, supporters, you know, get into the match more. And I felt that, and and I'm, you know, sticking with it. <laughs> Um, I think that's going to be a match that you have to do lots of things good to 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 win, and um, it's definitely going to be important to take charge early in the points because she likes to dominate. And like I was saying before, we do have kind of similar games, so it's going to be you know who has the first hit, and um, serving is going to be huge. So you know you just have to do well overall to 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 actually be in in, in opportunities to to win again. Just going back to the Steve Larson books, the, the main character, the Lisbeth uh, Sandberg, Sandberg. Her name, <laughs> and she's quite a feisty character. Do you get any kind of inspiration from someone like that? Because she, she just takes no nonsense for anyone. I wonder I whether know. that helps you before going on court. Or I know, I do recognize myself in right, some of right. them. I'm like, no, I'm, I, I do get very stubborn sometimes, and that's a little bit annoying to my coaches. But um, hey, you know, you have to take the badge too. <laughs>